Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is part 7 of our SAP Cap Pump and Fiery UI 5 tutorial series. In the previous part, we created a table in our Fiery app and displayed book data from the Cap Pump backend using OData version 4. In this part, we are taking it one step further by enabling deletion of records directly from the table using a fragment based action sheet. First, we define the table with a new action column. This includes a button on each row that will trigger our fragment. Give the column heading as action and add a button in the cell. Give three dots as the text of the button and another attribute press having the value on action pressed. This on action pressed will be our function name which triggers the fragment. Also pass a parameter called dollar event which contains the details of the corresponding row data which the user clicked. This displays your book records and adds an action button to each row allowing us to interact with specific records. Now let's define our action sheet. For that create a new file called actionsheet.fragment.xml. After creation open the file and type the default structure and tags required to create a fragment. Then add two buttons inside the action sheet, one as view and the other one as delete. For this tutorial, we will focus on the delete functionality. Give the function names as own view press and own delete press. Generate the IDs to avoid error lines. If you want the button to look more good, then give icons to the button. Next, let's handle the button press with the own action pressed function in the controller. I will do this in forex speed. Since I have explained how to do this in the Fiery tutorial series part 8. If you haven't watched it yet, then I recommend you to complete Fiery series first. For now, you can copy and paste the code which I am writing here. This code checks whether the fragment is already loaded or not. If not, it dynamically loads it using fragment.load function, assigns it and opens the action sheet relative to the pressed button. Give the absolute action sheet path along with the project ID. You will get the project ID from the manifest.json file. Copy and paste the project ID here along with the view folder and fragment name. After completing the fragment code, open the output window and check whether our fragment is working properly or not. As you can see that the fragment is working properly, but the icon for delete option is not showing. To fix this, let's go to the SAP UEFI icon explorer and search for the delete icon. Then copy paste the exact icon name to our code. Check the output and you can see it is working properly now. Now let's move on to implementing the delete functionality. Define the delete function with the function name on delete press. This method is responsible for deleting a book record from CAPM database using the OData version 4 model. Let's declare a variable O context which retrieves the binding context that was stored earlier in the on action pressed method. Then Extract the ID property from the selected context and store it in the variable sbook. 
We will use this to identify the record during deletion. Before performing the actual delete operation, we prompt the user with a confirmation dialog using messagebox.confirm asking them if they are sure they want to delete this book or not. If the user confirms by clicking yes, we invoke oconducts.delete function to immediately send a delete request to the backend using odata version 4. On successful deletion, we display a success message to inform the user that the record has been removed. If the operation fails due to a backend issue or any other error, we catch it and show a descriptive error message using messagebox.error. Now that we have implemented our delete functionality, let's go ahead and test our final output. Try clicking the three dots in the action column. Choose delete, confirm the prompt and you will see the selected row disappear instantly from the table. That's it for part 7. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future updates. And feel free to leave your questions or feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.